All right, everybody, welcome back to another Askative Unreal Engine tutorial. My name is Kevin. Today we are going to be taking a look at the procedural foot placement that comes in the default third person shooter, how it works. And the reason we're doing that is so that we can fix the animation problems that we were having with our jump turn when we're authoring our own animations within Unreal Engine. It's important to understand how it works so we can fix it. So if you're having problems with your animations, messing up your feet, this is a good starting point for understanding of how that's going to go. So with that, let's hop into Unreal and take a look at what we got going on. Okay, so here we are in Unreal Engine. This is, uh, it could be a general third person uh, default project setup starting at Unreal Engine 5.4, for example. And this is the default anim graph for Manny or uh, Quinn or whoever it is. Uh, the node that we're specifically looking at here is this control rig node. Basically, all of our characters local motion, uh, running, jumping, etc. all works. It comes in through here, it goes through our main states, and the last thing it does, we've talked about this before, is it uses this control rig node to handle foot placement so that if you're standing on an uneven surface, the character will uh, have one foot up, one foot down, for example. The rig that is specifically being used is this basic foot IK. If we open this, we can take a quick look at how this works. So effectively, and this is what we need to understand so we can fix our own authored animations in Unreal Engine. All right, so basically what it does is if we should do a trace, what we do is we get the IK foot left or the IK foot right, each of them, and we're going to do a trace. And if we go into here and we look, we have, uh, we're basically getting the transform of the IK foot left, and then we're getting the transform of the root. And then if you look at this, we're taking the foot left and we're adding 30 units above it. And we're taking the root and we're going 50 units below it. So what's happening is it is taking a line that is from 30 units above where the foot is to approximately 50 units below the root of our character is. And it's going to do what? It is going to do a sphere trace. So it's going to send a trace. It basically says, detect if I hit anything. And if it hits something, it will return that offset. So if we go back to our solve, it takes the output in Z from that trace and it sets that as our Z offset target. It does this for both the left and the right foot. Then what it does is it basically interpolates between those uh, where it is now and where it should be. That's what this Z offset is. But this is where it gets interesting to understand. We take the left and the right, and basically we take that value, whichever one is lower, and we're going to use that for the pelvis. With all three of those values, we are going to modify the transform of our foot IK foot left, foot right, and the pelvis bones. So we're literally moving the whole thing down, and then finally we're using a full body IK to move the left and the foot uh, the move the body down appropriately based off these positions uh, with the pelvis using the IK foot left and the IK foot right. So the important thing to understand about this is when we look at our skeleton, let's go to our jump turn here. When we look at our skeleton for our character, you'll notice these joints, IK foot root. These are these joints down here at the base. These are used by usually procedural systems to figure out where the foot was during animation. So you'll notice this is the base and this is so that we can rotate them together. It's often used for uh, rotation warping, for example. Uh, and or orientation and sometimes stride warping, but it, that way you can move both feet together or rotate them all together. And then below that we have both our IK foot left and our IK foot right. I'm calling attention to these specifically because if we take a look at our mannequin, default CR mannequin body rig, what you'll notice is there is no IK foot left or right in it. Where did it show up? So when you when you take a look at your rig hierarchy and you scroll it, it doesn't show here. So this hierarchy or this rig was built, I believe, probably off the template, which does not have the IK foot left and right. So what happens is when we animate our 
character. So for example, if I load my Anim stage and I open, I'm not gonna save any of this, and I open a sequence, for example, our jump turn. If we show all of our bones, I may not be able to do that here, that's okay. Basically what happens is as we're animating this character, we're animating our left and our right foot. However, we're doing nothing for the left, IK foot left and IK foot right. They're basically just sitting in their default position based on wherever the root is. So what happens is if we go back to our jump turn animation and we connect in our control rig in this particular case, when we go back to our game, if we press play, let me reload the map here. We'll go back to our map. I'm not going to save yet because when I make this fix, it'll update. When we do that, when we have IK connected, you can see my foot placement does not match what we animated. And the reason it doesn't match what we animated is because we have this control rig that's happening. And this control rig is not taking into account, if we just disconnect it real quick, you can see our foot placement is different. We have an offset and a slight angle to our feet without the control rig. And with the control rig, it gets messed up. Okay? So when we play this, you'll see now our feet are just straight down. There's no offset. It's not a casual pose. This is not what we animated. So now we understand the problem. Let's fix it. And to do that, what we are going to do is we are actually going to make some changes to this CR mannequin body. First, what we need to do is if we right click on root, we choose refresh. We need to select the SK Manny and we'll just refresh this. And then what will happen is when we do that, if you scroll down, you'll notice now we have the IK foot left and IK foot right. These were not here before. So now that we have them, what we can do is we can set up our control rig so that as we animate our characters in Unreal Engine, these are getting put in the right place. So the probably the easiest thing to do is let's take um, our pins here and connect. I'm just going to do it over here for right now just because it's going to be easier. I'm going to set the transform. Let's set the transform. What we want to do is initially we're going to set the transform of this IK foot left. Okay, and it's going to be the position of the foot. So let's get the transform. And this is going to be the foot. So if we type in foot in here, foot left, and it's going to plug in here. Okay, and we could probably do initial if we wanted to. And we compile that. All that's going to do is it's going to position our IK foot left to be in the correct place. And we're going to do the same thing with the IK foot right. So this is just our construction script. We'll just need to replace all these. So let's go foot foot right, and let's go foot again, foot right. Okay, so that is our, that is our setup in our construction event. And then what we're going to do in here is all of this is changing our control rig stuff. It's all the, the controls and transform we're building. None of this is affecting our IK foot right and left. So we can just actually drag straight off this E pen. And what we want to do is we want to actually set the IK foot left and the IK foot right to be whatever the final result is of the left and right foot as we're authoring our animations. That way when we basically bake out our animations, those have the proper placement for this IK foot left and right so that we can actually, uh, when we do our line trace down, they're coming from where our animations were created in Unreal Engine. Normally, when you author animations outside of Unreal Engine, these bones specifically are constrained to your feet so that the resulting animation has this all set in already. But we actually have to update to handle this properly. So let's just make sure we're doing okay here. Let's compile and save all this. 
and we're not gonna we didn't really we didn't make any changes in here that's fine our blueprint jump turn we can keep our control rig that's fine i'm going to save this and we're going to go back to our authoring and we're going to see if we can force it to refresh so sure we can save all that stuff okay now once we're here if we go to our art source what we need to do is we need to get our jump turn antic to basically rebake out effectively so right now all our antic does is drop to the knees i don't even know can we play here let's see if we can play here okay cool that makes this easy so you see how we're dropping our knees but our feet aren't spread out we basically need to get this animation so the feet are spread out okay so we're dropping to our knees let's just try a simple save on this and then let's go to our animations that we created the linked animations those were underneath manny this is our jump turn antic we have to get our antic working and here's what i want you to notice see how the the ik foot left and right are are placed right at the foot bones that was not the case before so i'm just going to save this let's go back to our anim stage and now you'll notice look at my character's feet they're where they're supposed to be because we've now when we we basically refreshed our authoring and we rebaked the positions of those bones so that they're where they need to be so that when we do our line trace down now you'll notice the problem though when we actually do our jump in place there's a there's a pop in that happens you can see our feet are moving and that's because let's go take a look at that animation i'll show you here's our jump turn you can see these two bones aren't moving right and what I mean specifically is this bone right here. This is the IK foot left, and this is the IK foot right. Neither one of these are moving, and they're not moving because we haven't refreshed our animation effectively. So let's go back to the anim stage, and let's go ahead and get our art source, and let's do, I can't remember if we're, I can't remember when we built this, if we're using jump turn only or jump turn. So let's just double check in our jump turn. We are using which animation? Jump turn only. So that's the one that I want to update. So if we go back to our art source, jump turn only, hopefully it's as simple as just save. And then I want to double check it. So let's, um, let's go ahead and reopen that animation, jump turn only. Okay, now you can see, you see how those bones are moving now? They weren't moving before. So now that we have that, if we go back to, we're almost there y'all. If we go back to, now when we do our duck, you'll see all of our animations look correct. Okay, so that's it. That's all I wanted to show you all. I wanted to show you quickly how to update control rig so that if you are authoring animations in Unreal Engine, you're thinking ahead and with the understanding of how the dynamic foot placement works in a third person project. Now. Ultimately, this may be different for your project. The point here is if you are using those IK foot left and IK foot right to figure out where your line trace is happening from, you need to make sure in your control rig as you author animations in Unreal Engine that you are accounting for those and that they are constrained properly or you will not get the values that you need to so that you have smooth animations like I was just showing. So really quick one here, but hopefully super helpful. As always, all comments are welcome. welcome. Just go ahead and throw those down below. And don't forget, check out our live section. We have uh, we do a lot of our tutorials live. We have just the right amount of crazy to do live tutorials. And once again, thanks for checking out the channel and your support. Take it easy.